Hello guys, hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to show you a new tool that I've just uh, come across called Insight Face Swap that enables you to swap faces uh, in any image that you come across. It doesn't have to be uh, a mid-journey image, but in this circumstance we're going to be using mid-journey images and I'm going to explain to you why. Um, I don't know if you've ever tried to do a picture of, say, like the Beatles, and you've realised that none of them. Whilst they all kind of look like a beetle, you couldn't say which one of these guys was which. In fact, this has got five people here, this has got five people here. Something's gone very wrong, they've all ended up a mishmash of all of the beetles all in one. And we want individual faces on individual beetles. So we want a George, we want a uh, Paul, we want a John, and we want a uh, Ringo. How are we going to do that? Well, the answer is with this new bot called Insight Face Swap. So step one, I'm going to leave this uh, URL in the description so you can get to it. You just click on this and it's going to add the bot to the server, create the commands in the server that you need and then you've got to pick the server that you want. So just click on continue and then authorize. After you've done, you've, uh, you should see that in your Discord that you've got this insight face swap. Marvellous. Okay, so using this image that's highly stylized. There's a reason I've picked a highly stylized image just to show you how well it does the blending. And um, what we want to do is we want to put a Paul on one, we want to put a John on one, we want to put a Ringo on one and a George on the other. So how do we go about doing this? Well first things first, what we do is we type in slash and you'll see that you've got a new button appeared here inside face, inside face swap. So we're going to um, save an ID feature by name and image. So step one, let's pick this picture of John Lennon. Now I've already done John, so we have to call this John one. But you should see that once that is done, it's saved, marvelous. So you need to go through and do that for every person that you want. Um, as you can see that I've done a lot of this previously, so I'll only run through it once. And let's go through and now take it to the next step, which is apply the swap ID. So let's pick our original image and we're going to put on John onto all of them. And we're going to go and do this process again. And we're going to put Paul onto all of them. And we're going to go through this process again. And we're going to put George onto all of them. And we go through the process again, one last time. And who's the last beetle? It is Ringo. So here we go. So let's look up at these. So we've got all of them have turned into John Lennon's. All of them have turned into Paul McCartney's. All of them have turned into George Harrison's. And all of them have turned into Ringo's. So you might be a bit confused at this stage, but basically essentially what we need to do is now stack all these images on top of each other and ensure that we cut out the right head for the right one. Um, so that will be uh, the next stage. So for the next stage where we have to seam these pictures together, I'm going to use Photopea. You can use any editing software that you like, really. Uh, I personally prefer Photoshop. If you guys want a guide to Photoshop, uh, let me know in the comments below. But Photopea runs in the browser. It's free. Everyone's got access to it. Wonderful. So the first thing that we want to do is get our images into the uh, program. So here we go. We've got John. We're going to drop him in, and he's going to become the background layer. Now, we can now add in the other three. But what you've got to notice here is that the background layer should be the bottom layer. So just drag it down and put it at the bottom. Now we're going to highlight George, who's at the top. And we're going to hold down the Alt key or the Option key if you're on the Mac. And go down to here and press this button. Um, at this stage, you should get a little black box appear here. And if this isn't set to white, I want you to set it to white. Mine already is, but I know sometimes it's not. We're going to select the Brush tool. And we're going to set the brush tool to a reasonable size, which is going to vary depending on the size of your image, but that's a good size for me. So then I just click on there, and I put him in, and there's our George. 
We're going to repeat this process for Ringo. So once highlighted Ringo, press the Alt key, go down to here, and then there we go. And then again for Paul, and Alt, and there we go, we do Paul. And that's given us our four Beatles, each with their own unique faces. We can then file, save, or export this as required and um, that is how you get different faces on people in mid journey with the help of a little bit of AI and even if your picture is black and white a different color not in the same style it should using the AI technology match the skin tones and the style of the picture pretty well in my eyes this is uh, quite an amazing tool really and um, it's a great string to your bow if you are using mid journey already it's not a lot of extra work and um, it can make some really great results with your mid-journey work. I hope you've enjoyed this today and in the event that you have, please like and subscribe down in the comments. Any questions, do let me know. I'm, uh, I'm active on here every day. Uh, have a lovely day.